here external transfer with unchanged quantity concept okay external transfer or sometimes i call it external unchanged method okay external unchanged method yeah let's take a look at this eh? so when do we use external unchanged method now this concept involves changes that takes place externally you can use both the model method and the unit method so example here Allen and ben have some marbles in certain ratio ben gives some marbles away to charles so is charles in the initial ratio no eh? because in some question they can tell you they will tell you ben give some marbles to ellen so if ben gives some marbles, marbles to ellen we have to use another strategy eh, which uh, i will you know show you later on that will be total uh will be total unchanged but in this instance ben give away some marbles away to charles okay which is not involved uh, in this particular question which is an external party so the ratio number of Allen's marble to the band uh, marble changes. Okay, however, Allen has the same number of marbles before and after the transfer. Okay, as he is not involved in the transfer. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean uh, you know, in the next question. Eh? So let's take a look at the model method. Okay, Alex has twice as many marbles as Bernard. Okay, Alex has twice as many marbles as Bernard. Eh? So then Alex used some marbles. Alex use some marbles. Who is unchanged here? Anyone? Who is unchanged? Bernard. Very good. So Bernard is unchanged here. Why? Because it says that only Alex use some of the stamps. Okay. So you can see here, initially what happened is that Alex has twice. One unit. Okay. And two units. And Bernard has one unit, right? So focus on the, the red color box. Eh? So Alex has twice as many as Bernard. Then Alex used some marbles. Now because of this, after Alex used some marbles, Alex now has one third as many marbles as Bernard. So one unit here. One. So one, two, three. Okay. So after as the after Alex used the you know the shaded part here. So the number of units is Alex one. Bernard has three units. Eh? One, two, three here. So this is before and this is after model. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another example. Alex and Bernard have, have steps in the ratio of two is to three. So one, two, three. This is Alex. And Bernard is two units. One unit, two units. Eh? Then Alex bought some stamps. Now you see Alex buy some stamp. Who is unchanged here? Again, Bernard is unchanged. Why? Because only Alex purchased some stamps, right? But not Bernard. Bernard did not do anything. Okay. So you can see here after Alex purchased some stamps, Alex now has twice as many stamps as Bernard. So how do you know it's twice? You can see here. So this is one unit here and another unit here. Twice, right? And Bernard is one unit here. Okay? So you can see here, this is two units and this is one unit. Okay? Alright. Now let's... Okay, let me show you using the unit 3 method. Huh? Since some of you like the unit 3 method, okay, the better students tend to do the unit 3 method. Okay? Uh, because uh, the model method, it is uh, it can be quite, uh, you know, inefficient. Because it takes a longer time and so on. Under exam condition, you may not have time. Okay, so for a start, it's fine to use the model method. Uh, it is fine also to use the model method. Uh, the model method eventually, you know, I know some students they are very visual in nature. So uh, using model, it is clearer for them. As it doesn't matter as long as you get the correct answer. But if you have a method which is faster, uh, which you don't have to use the model method, then you know why not? You know, if you but provided you understand how to use an okay. All right, uh, so Faiz, you say that the model method is common. Yeah, you, you, you're right. Some students find the model method easier. Some students find the unit three method easier. So it depends uh, on individual students. So my job as a teacher or as a tutor, I teach you all the various strategies, the various methods. So eventually you choose. All right, I will not say that, oh, you must use model method or you must use unit three method. Okay, I we teach you all the various strategies. So it's up to you what strategies works best and the strategy which 
is uh, you know she will understand best. Okay, that is very important. Okay, let's take a look at this example. Huh? So here uh, a bit of percentage, uh, fractions and percentage. So in a library, two fifths of the students were boys. Okay, two fifths of the students were boys. So now can you tell me how many units boys and how many units girls? Okay, uh, two units of boys, how many units of girls? Ah, very good. Three, ah, Faiz, wrong. Eh? Faiz said that there are five units of girls. Not true. Eh? So, uh, this is a bit tricky. Eh? So, you can see here, eh? two units, boys, and five units is pupils. Okay, not, not girls. So, if five pupils, two boys, the remaining must be girls, right? So, they can be only be boys and girls, eh? pupils. So boys two units, girls three units. All right. So this is at first. Now what happened next? After another eight boys came into the library, the percentage of girls dropped to fifty percent. So after eight boys came to the library. Okay. Now, what happens to the girls? Any change in the girls? Number of girls? Any change? Did the girls change? Number of girls change? Okay. All right, so what happens here? The percentage of girls drop 50%. Now, if girls 50%, how many percent are boys? Okay, let's ask Nasif. Okay, if girls 50%, how many percent boys? Good, neither 50%. So 50 is to 50 will be 1 is to 1. Okay, that's why you get here 1 unit of boys and 1 unit of girls. Okay, now I want to I want you to take note of this part. Huh? Very, very important. Okay, this is mainly it's a very important misconception. So you can see here girls three units. In the end, girls become one unit. Okay. Question: Did the number of girls change? Sarah, did the number of girls change? Okay, Iman say yes. No. Okay, the answer is no. Huh? The number of girls did not change. If you look carefully at the question, after another eight boys came to library, the percentage of girls dropped to 50%. So eight boys came. The number of girls didn't change, right? The girls didn't, there wasn't any extra girls or the girls didn't leave the library. But the percentage dropped. Ah, now, so you need to distinguish the difference between percentage or proportion and the actual number. So in the first ratio here, you can see boys two units, the girls three units. But in the end, you see the girls change to one unit. So some students may think, oh, teacher, the number of girls drop. At first three units, then become one unit. Uh, this is a very common misconception. Number of girls didn't change. But because the number of boys changes, okay, the number of boys changes, the proportion between the boys and girls changes. So the proportion changes, but not the number of girls. So please take note of this. Huh? Many students are confused huh? or okay, misconception between the number and the proportion. All right. Okay, let's take a look next. Huh? So what happened here? Since the number of girls is unchanged, huh? number of girls is unchanged. So what we do is that we make the number of girls the same. The number of units the same. Huh? So there are three units of girls. And one unit of girls here. So what's the lowest common multiple of three and one? Three, right? So how to get three units? One unit times multiply by three, I get three units. So if I multiply three for this ratio, boys as well, I must multiply by three. So I get three is to three. And then you can see here number of units for girls at the end, and number of girls, number of units for girls in the beginning at first is the same. Uh, once they are equal, the number of units equal, then we can make a comparison between the first ratio and the second ratio. Okay? Alright? So, you can see here, after we make the number of girls the same, at first, there are two units of boys, and then, there are three units of boys. There are three units of boys. Why is it so? Okay, Hamza, can you, do you know why? Why is it that initially, there are two units of boys, and then, in the end, there are three units of boys. What's the reason? Ah, very good. Dari, yeah? Dari said eight boys join. Very good. Okay, you can see in this question, eight boys join. Huh? 
So why two units increase to three units? Because there's an addition of eight boys. Okay, so, so one unit is eight. Okay, so how many people so were there in the library in the end? So in the end, there are three units of boys and three units of girls. So total six, right? So that's why six unit, eight multiplied by six, you get 48. So the answer is 48 pupils in the library at the end. Okay, understand? Very good, huh? Okay, next 